What's up everybody? These are the Yak Tracks Walk and today we're going to test and review these and see if these are what you need to level up your winter hiking game. So stay tuned. All right, welcome back everybody. I'm Jeff Smith and this is Fun Sized Adventures, which is our family vlog that's all about breaking down the barriers that keep you and your family from getting outside. So let's rewind real quick to last winter. I bought the kids snowshoes so that we could get outside and get hiking more when there was snow on the ground in the winter time. But so far this winter, we haven't had a lot of snow and our trails are kind of a hodgepodge of bare ground as well as some refrozen ice. And it's been really difficult to get outside because of that because you just don't know what to expect. So I've been looking for something to kind of bridge that gap in between just normal hiking boots and snowshoes. And I think I might have found it with these. These are the Yak Tracks Walk. They're basically made out of rubber with um, metal coils around it and they stretch over your shoes or your boots. And they give you a little bit of extra traction. And the beauty of these is you can take them off when you don't need them. And if there is ice or packed snow, you can put them on. Now these are the adult sized and they were $18.99 as well as I also ordered two pairs of the kid sized ones that were $16.99 each. And then after testing them around the yard briefly, we headed out to a local mountain to see how they would handle that. Now my review of them, I'm gonna break down into two sections. What I thought of them and then what my kids thought of them because as you'll see, there are two very different experiences. Now, as far as what I thought of them, I thought they worked great. They fit over my boots perfectly. They stayed on. They gave me that little bit of extra grip that maybe you didn't even really notice at first, but then if I noticed that if I took them off and I tried to walk through the same section, instantly I noticed I was slipping more. So it's just that little bit of extra grip. If you're looking for something that's gonna keep you from sliding altogether, this is not what you're looking for. But if you're just looking for that little bit of extra traction, these I think are great. And as you can see, they held up well. There's a little bit of abrasion on the metal coils, but the, the rubber is still fine. So as far as build quality, I think it's really good. And the trail we went to, the first part was relatively flat and kind of packed snow. These were great for that, kept us from sliding. But then the second part was a steep, probably about a 30% grade with ice underneath and then some fresh snow on top. And that's when these really started to struggle. But honestly, I really didn't expect them to do too great because at that point, it probably would have even been better to have my snowshoes on. But as far as what my expectations were, they met them. Now, like I said, the kids had a completely different experience. When it came to the kids' experience with the Yak Tracks, when I ordered them, they said that they were good for shoe size one through four and their boot sizes too. But for whatever reason, they were just having trouble. They would fit on okay, but they kept slipping off and they popped off several times during our little walk. And this caused the kids to eventually give up on them. So I don't know if this was a just not a good compatibility between their particular boots or if they're, they just weren't being stretched tight enough. I don't know, but just know that, that it's depending on the shape of your shoe, you might run into a little bit of trouble. I might try to fashion a little strap to kind of connect the two sides over the top of their foot to see if that helps. But out of the box as is, they just, they kept coming off. The second problem that they had with them, and this second problem is no fault of the Yak Tracks themselves, but more in the kids' perception of what they were going to be useful for. But my mistake when I was explaining to the kids what the purpose of these was, I told them that it was to keep them from sliding. So like most kids, they took that as a challenge and to think that it's impossible to slide in these, which is just not the case. But that's the perception they had. So they were going out of their way trying to slide and then complaining that they weren't working. And like I said, that's not any knock on Yak Tracks. That's just my kids setting the expectations too high and things just didn't come together the way they wanted them to. So like I said, I had a good experience and I think that I understood what the purpose was. The kids, not so much. The one thing I would be concerned about is for whatever reason, the kids, like I said, it just would not stay on their boots, but I had no trouble. So it might just be on a boot by boot basis. <laughs> <laughs> now, as far as what are these for, if you're some super avid hiker that's looking for something that's going to get them up like a 4,000 foot mountain, this is not what you're looking for. For steeper grades and even longer walks, you're going to want something more substantial. But as far as something that's just the ease of use of popping these on over your boots, if there is a kind of dicey section of a trail you're walking on, something you can pull out of your pocket, pop on your feet. Once you get through the tough part and you're back to bare ground, pop them back off. 
this is what these are really for. And I think that in our particular case, that's kind of what we were looking for. We hadn't gone for several hikes because I knew that parts of certain trails were gonna be icy. But now that I have these, I feel a little bit more comfortable doing that because I know that we're not gonna get caught off guard halfway through a trail when icy comes because I could just take these out, pop them on my feet, get through and take them off afterwards. And for that purpose, I think these are really good. But as far as like serious hiking gear for people that are gonna wanna do big giant hikes, this is just not gonna cut it. But like I said, I don't think that's what they're for. Which leads us to our last question. Are they worth it? For just short of 20 bucks? Mine, I think I'll definitely get use out of them, especially seeing the durability and how they held up to that hike we went on. I'll get years and years of use out of these and they'll help me get outside and active more through those periods of time where there's not enough snow to use my snowshoes, but then there's a little bit too much ice to just go in your boots. As far as for the kids, I don't think they're working out quite as well, but I think that's partially their own fault. Um, do I wish I had bought maybe one pair of kids once to test them out instead of two? Yeah, probably. <laughs> But I think that maybe as they get older, these should fit several uh, sizes up of boots. So hopefully once they get into a new pair of boots, they will then fit and won't keep popping off. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review of the Yak Tracks Walk. And hopefully knowing more about this product will help you overcome the obstacles to getting outside and active this winter. If you thought this was helpful, please hit that like button because that helps tell the YouTube robots that this is a good channel. And I appreciate it a lot. And until next time, get out there and have a fun size adventure of your own, even when it's slippery and icy. This kind of looks like a hair knit for like a gothic lunch lady. Does it?